So today is Monday, it's the end of the month, the 31st of March. Now I've just been given a, a message from Mavin Evo and they've done the latest update. And on the latest update for the Mavin Evo, you can fly the Mini 4 Pro. And thankfully, <laughs> uh, you can do a lot more things. And the reason I say that is because obviously in the past couple of weeks, literally Pilot have contacted me to test out the, Mav, uh, the Mini 4 Pro waypoints I had an update the other day and that was to do with you can fly it in manual mode uh, you can do the zoom and you can do the follow except at the moment the follow is not working very well so I've contacted literally pilot and I'm waiting for a reply but with the uh, Mavin Evo I should do be able to do a lot more things so in this video I'm not going to tell you how to do things I just want to I'm just testing it guys. So I'm going to be showing you some of the things that you can do uh, with the Mavin Evo on the Mini 4 Pro. One reminder, got to, guys, you've got to make sure that your devices are compatible when you're using the Mavin Evo. You can check on their website. Shall I get on with it? <laughs> are all ready so at the moment you can see on the screen there you've got the image of the drone so if you haven't got the image of the drone you know it's not connected but once it's connected guys if you just tap on it just connecting now so you've got a picture straight away home point has already been updated now what I've done on this I've gone into the settings and it's going to update wherever I'm moving about so the home point is going to follow me about which is another thing I love about the Mavin Evo. And it's the same as the Mavin app. But anyway, let's get on with it. I'm going to put on the video as well to make sure that the video is fine. That's over there. So the video is on now. Let's put that back. Apparently I've got zoom facilities on there as well. But I'm doing all the takeoff. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do now, while the drone's in the air, I'm going to, I'm going to try out the waypoints first, because I haven't tried the waypoints out in the Mavin Evo yet. So I'm just going to go back, click over the waypoints. Right, I've got two here. I'm going to do the second one down, which is that one. Okay, it's letting it load up. Okay, so we're all ready. So I'm right in thinking. Yes, fly. So I've got six waypoints on this. If you want to know how to do waypoints on the Mavin, this is the same as the Mavin Evo. This is what I like about this. Between the two apps, you can save uh, the waypoints and use them both. So this is what I've done a while back when I was doing the Mini 3 Pro. So I can use the Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 4 Pro now on the, uh, on the Mavin Evo. All right, so I'm just going to click on the picture to get that bigger. I just want to see, because it's, I've done a, a weather check. It's supposed to be, it's a bit blowy at the moment, it's a bit gusty. Um, I think it should be all right. Mini 4 Pro is pretty good flyer in the wind.
That's one thing, that, that was the waypoints. We're gonna get the drone back up in the air now. We're gonna try some other different things. Okay, so I'm gonna... Now obviously what you're hearing now is the, the avoidance. So that's good because I wouldn't get any, any of that on the literary pilot. You know, when the avoidance thing was, um, if it's too close to anything, other than it would stop, that's the only thing. Obviously on here, it, it gives you a bleep, so that, that's good to know. All right, I'm gonna try a couple of other things now. I'm gonna use the co-pilot. Three dots are, you can see the like, uh, it's what it is, it's a little pilot. I hit the little man. Um, that's the gimbal thing. Now, once you set all this up, guys, you cannot touch anything on the screen. You see what happens when I do. Okay, so I'm just seeing quite, no, quite like the top one there. Have I got it on video? Yeah. Okay, video's still on. Okay. So I'm just, what I'm doing at the moment is just doing all bit. I'm right in thinking this should be the follow. So, hopefully it's following me, which I think it is, because I've got my cross section on there. So, I'm right in thinking. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Right, home point's been updated. Right, if I press that one. Right, so the drone's moving. You can see I've got a circle there. Now, obviously, you can see where the home point's been highlighted because it's that green symbol. So you can still see where the home point was done. I'm the little blue person. So you can see straight away, I'm that little blue, well, the blue thing's just in front of me at the moment. So if I can bring that down a little bit. Still follow distance, 20 feet. Now, I'm not touching the gimbal, I just touch the control over on the right hand side there. I just want to see what happens when I get to the building. I mean, officially it is stop, but right, I can hear it bleeping now. Home point's been updated. Because I've disabled the gimbal, so I've taken over control of the gimbal myself. I've got a horrible feeling that my battery's low. Yes, I've got 14%. So what what's going to happen now is going to kick in to um, return to home. 
So while it's landing safely, I'm going to change the battery over because I've got another battery and we'll just try out the cable cam. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to walk down this lane as far as I can go. Hopefully you can be able to hear me still. I'm going to get the drone up it. I'm going to tap into it now because it's already tapped the start. Okay, so what I'm going to see what I can do. One, leave the drone there. I'm going to walk down there. See what happens. Okay, so we're going to do auto takeoff. So it should just take off the ground. Take off. Okay, you can see, I can see myself. Hopefully you lot can hear me over there. I've got my focus track was on then. So I'm going to go up to Copilot, flick that on. I'm going to touch a little man. Now I believe that's going to be me. I can see me on the map there. Um, there's a little blue dot and I can see myself, the little blue man on there. Right. So officially, I should, after not remembering to put on the video. Okay, is that on? Is that telling me that my video card's full up? I think it is. <laughs> one, of the, one of the jobs I keep telling people, remember to format your card. I've got a horrible feeling I didn't, I didn't format it. Oh, it's, it's done it. Okay. So, I'm right in thinking, if I, if I do that now. I can see the drone, it's, that's what I mean, it goes in a straight line. So whatever, I can talk about this. I think that is pretty, pretty smart. Right. Anyway, I think I've been, I've been doing nothing and messing about. Okay, guys, just remember, this was a test. This wasn't the, what I class as the full product of this video with the Maven Evo latest update. Um, and what I got to say is, when I first bought the Maven app, I got it on my iOS. And I'm not too sure if it was the same setup as on the Android, because I noticed somebody asked me the other day about, could you do the follow me with the Maven app? And I presume he was on about the old, the Maven app itself and not the Maven Evo. Uh, and then when I tried using my Mini, my Mini 3 Pro, um, it looked completely different, the setup. Um, and what, another thing I did notice, I wasn't too sure, it was just the, the home point and the man, which is me, obviously. And I wouldn't have thought that you could do it in a car, but I might be wrong. <laughs> Uh, and I'm hoping the guy that designed this app is watching me. Um, so anyway, today I just went straight out. But that cable cam, which I love doing anyway, and I've done used that obviously in my iOS phone on the Mavin app. I used to love that because what it's like about it, you could pick a point of interest, be it me or a, a, a tarot, as it goes along, it turns around and I think that's brilliant. I, I don't think... Yeah, you can't do that on the um, on the uh, fly app. I love that. So nice one. So yeah, I will be out later on in the week. Um, obviously, I have to do a little bit of swatting now, checking on um, all those different things. But one up on the Litchi Pilot because the Litchi Pilot, they want a lot of. Op I still think end of the day at the moment, the Mavins is still above the Litchi Pilot. So, as always, there's going to be another video very soon. And it will be very soon because I've got, I've got a lot of testing to do. And I, I love testing. <laughs>